Hey, welcome everybody. I got a quick and easy project for you today. It is a interactive horizontal bar chart scheduling program where you enter line items for each of your schedule items and put in a corresponding start and stop date and it will fill in automatically on the calendar on the right side. So I'll put in a few examples here to show you how it works. Like so. And I'll show you how to do it. Let's get rid of that. All right, first I'm going to merge the 31 columns for the month and put in equals text and the first cell of the daily month and comma MMMM -M -M for the full spell out of the month. Next I'm going to put the first date of the month here and change the format to just, if I can do it, DD, which is just the day in two digit format. And I am going to do plus one in the day next to that. So if I want to change months, all I have to do is change the first date, and it'll automatically change all the corresponding dates after that. Okay, I need two columns here, one for the start date and one for the stop date. I'm going to change it to just a general date format with month and day, and um, add some column headers to identify the columns and I'll make them so they don't stand out so much by making the font a little smaller and putting in italics and fill in some sample data to test out the formula as we go okay in the first cell here I'm going to put a formula equals if and the first start date is less than or equal to the date in this column as well as the stop date being greater than or equal to the date in this column then if both conditions are met I give a value of 1 and if not a value of 0 and since I locked the rows and columns in that formula I can drag it across the screen and have the formula stay intact and you can see the first 15 days have a 1 and then the rest of the month has a zero. I'm going to change the font on everything to white so it doesn't show up against the white background and then I'm going to set a conditional formatting looking for a specific value of specific cell value of one then I'm going to make it a black font if that's true and a black fill if that's true. Okay so this this uh, video isn't really about formatting so I'm going to speed through a little bit of this but basically I'm going to insert a blank row above and below each of those because as you can see it's not going to look quite right if you don't have a space in between each row okay so let's do that real quick alright so I'm going to merge the rows in the uh, data entry portion and I'm gonna get rid of the grid lines above and below the formula rows so that it looks like one row per three rows really and I'm just copying and pasting that formatted uh, three row set to make multiple sets of that three rows and you can see it's completed putting in some sample data here uh, all we did was make one formula and one set of conditional formatting and we're done so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it hey before I go let me tell you a little bit about what I do on eBay you can find me there under user ID Dr. Soy D-R-S-O-Y um, I've got my feedback pulled up here for you to peruse as I give you my spiel here got a variety of advanced spreadsheets for sale uh, they all have advanced functions and VBA code that you can poke around in and yeah, that one guy gave me useless useless as the comment negative feedback uh, everything else is pretty generally positive so as I was saying um, poke around in those formulas and let me know if you have any questions about them because I answer emails every day from my eBay customers 
I try to respond on the same day, and if not, it's usually the next day. Some weekends I don't answer, but usually I answer on weekends as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, or shoot me an email on eBay, and I'll get right back to you.